Hey everybody, I'm Nick Griffin here and welcome back to Receiver 2. Let's see if I can actually make some positive progress. <laughs> I've, I've definitely not been playing this game very well. Um, it took a long time to beat the first receiver. Um, and that was like one iteration of this. So... This is a whole, like, next level up, because I gotta win more than I lose, which is, for this game, turns out, rather difficult. Alright, see? Got that all sorted out. Are we even at? We are at baseline, son of a bitch. For some reason I had it in my head that I was like slightly positive. Alright, well. Let's do the thing with the stuff. This feels a lot framier than usual. Like on my side I'm seeing it being pretty bad. Um, Let's close that, let's close that, oh photoshop's open, that's always the answer. Why is my computer performing like shit? Oh yeah, <laughs> alright. Because I have photoshop open. It still looks pretty bad actually. I definitely just clicked the wrong button. Hello. Oh, that was really loud. My, my headset is really loud. Really, really loud. This is where I get shot by the third turret that is inexplicably in this room. <laughs> it's just nice to not have a... Oh, I hear tape. I'm gonna have a clean shot right here. Oh, I got it! Okay, next bolt's good. The chamber rotates clockwise, so... <laughs> okay. I'm actually gonna try and take this out. It is, that is going to be much easier to take out from upstairs. Assuming I don't get shot. God damn it. Okay, 
I'm going to try and take this out from here. I hear a tape. Got it again. Okay, there's a gun right in that door. <laughs> Hell yeah. The most important virtue of a keeper is mental resilience, and the only way to build resilience is to practice rebounding from adversity. Okay, see, I also definitely heard a tape over here, and I don't think it was the same tape. Oh, it must be. Actually, I'm still not convinced. There's a stairwell down. I have no idea where it is. Maybe underneath that turret. Maybe in the next room. Cooper's fourth go. rule of gun safety is to know your target and what is beyond it. Bullets can penetrate a lot farther than most people think. Um, how many interior sheetrock walls it's do like you think a typical 9mm bullet will go through? One? Uh, two? More like 20. In a typical gunfight, more shots miss than hit, mm. but all bullets end up somewhere. Unless you live alone in a rural area, there is no pistol or rifle that won't put your family and neighbors at risk. Even hollow point rounds often miss or fail to expand. The safest choice for an effective internal home defense weapon in a populated area is a pump action shotgun loaded with a small buckshot or large birdshot. That's because birdshot doesn't travel nearly as far. It doesn't have the penetration power that a normal bullet does because it's just little beads basically metal beads mind you but beads nonetheless got a clear corners being very quiet because the turrets can't hear me. I'm 
Okay. That's going to be really hard to get by. I can barely see that. Okay. I have to wait. Still another blue light over there. It could be something that's not a gun. That seems unlikely. I'm just a really good shot today. I am kind of backtracking. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know how large the radius for the tape singing is. Because it clearly goes through floors. So I should probably not be going backwards. inside a box. Okay. <laughs> that really made the game freak out a little bit. Past events that have caused recurring negative thoughts and emotions are called mental trauma. This was often the result of a sudden shift in perception. The building blocks of our self-concept are ideas about the world and our place in it. 
when these ideas turn out to be false. There's actually shit on the TV. It causes a oh, chain but the reaction isn't rendering that can it. threaten every aspect of our life. While removing one brick from a tower can cause it to collapse, that does not mean that the problem was widespread. It was a failure in a single element. This demonstrates how critical each belief is, and I don't like that. how finding and removing false beliefs early can prevent a catastrophic chain reaction. I still hear a tape. There's a gun in the closet. I'm amazed I wasn't actually in its field of vision there. Experiences are feelings connected to events. If an event that creates negative feelings happens often enough, or is especially intense, it can create a phobic reaction. Even after distancing oneself from these events, these phobic elements can persist. Thoughts flow from one to the next, like water flowing down a river. And like water flowing, these thoughts can carve through stone, given enough time. Trauma is like a boulder in the river. And over time, a correct sequence of thoughts can cut and shape it, eventually allowing the thoughts to pass safely and smoothly around them. Yay. In a disordered mind, fear and doubt will often attach itself to whatever events are happening at that moment. These misattributed, diverted feelings can become habitual, compounding the problem of accurate thinking. This leads to confusion, impaired decision-making, and more anxiety in a damaging feedback loop. By grounding thoughts in the present, one can escape this feedback loop. Where are you? What time and year is it? Who are you? What are you doing at this exact moment? What do you see? What do you hear? What do you really hear? Yay, we ranked up. Now if only I could have runs that clean not at one. All right, well, that is a positive check mark. means I think it is time to call the episode. Unfortunately, to do another run, I would either have to die uh, to make it short enough, or uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> it, it would uh, it would be a long episode, and I don't think uh, that's exactly where I want this series to be, a super long episode. So, Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I will see you next time, but until then, keep your gears turned.